It's handy dandy time. There are so many awesome animals we can create by tracing our hands. So let's trace our fingers one at a time and imagine everything we can draw. Today we're going to create an elephant, a peacock, and a snail. Begin by spreading your right hand out wide on a sheet of paper and trace around your hand in each finger. Now, flip the page upside down. Add an oval to the center of the palm. This is the elephant's ear. To the right of the oval, draw a small circle. This is the elephant's eye. Next, draw a half circle below the eye. This is the mouth. You are making the elephant smile. Now, we need a tail. So draw a line on the left side of your handprint and then add fluff to the end. Now you have a tail. Finally, let's make our elephant some feet. Draw three squiggly lines at the bottom of the elephant's four legs. Now it's time to color it in. I chose blue, but you can choose any color you like. Draw a beautiful background for your elephant to live in, like a beautiful African savanna with lots of trees. Did you know elephants are herbivores? Which means they only eat plants, not meat. Some of their favorite foods are flowers, fruits, including bananas, leaves, grasses, bamboo, and herbs. Begin by spreading both hands out wide on a sheet of paper with your thumbs pressed together. Have a parent or friend trace around both of your hands. Now draw an oval in the center. This is the peacock's body. Let's give our peacock a face, add eyes and a beak. Then add three squiggly lines to the head. These are the head feathers. Now we need feet. Draw two feet on the bottom of our oval body. Peacocks have big and beautiful feathers on their wings. Let's give our peacock the same. Draw a few circles on the tracing of your fingers and hands. Go ahead and draw a circle inside of a circle too. Now it's time to color it in. Let's start with the feathers. I chose lots of bright colors like green, blue, purple, and yellow. For the body, I went with a light blue. Finally, orange for the feet and the beak. Did you know a group of peacocks together is called a party? Put your left hand in a fist with your thumb sticking straight out. Trace around your thumb and fist. Using your thumb as a starting point, trace around the thumb and then under your hand and back across your fist, creating a long squiggly shape. This is the snail's body. Create a circle shape using the tracing of your fist as a guide. Then draw a spiral in the center of that circle. This is the snail's shell. Now our snail needs a face. Give him a little mouth and then two long tentacles. These are what the snail uses to see. Now it's time to color it in. I chose red for the body and pink for the shell. Did you know snails don't have ears? They use their other senses like smell, taste, touch, and sight to go about their day. Have fun in your house, little mouse.